What's up, YouTube? Don's Legacy here, aka the German Gamer, and um, I'm here with a different kind of video today, actually. Um, this is actually going to be an unboxing video of the graphics card I just picked up. I just got 970 GTX GeForce. Said that backwards, don't really care. Anyways, so in case you guys haven't heard, I'm going to be building um, a new PC except it's going to be a different kind of PC. This time I'm going to remember to show pictures. I'll throw some pictures up right now in the video. Um, it's a PC desk build, and basically it's a custom-built desk that I'm building myself. I'm going to pick up the wood, um, maybe not this weekend, but the next upcoming weekend, and I will be uploading um, vlogs about that, you know, different video, video updates with it, so um, you guys will be able to follow along with me, and also each part that I get for the PC that I'm building, I will also do an unboxing video on, and the first part I picked up was the graphics card for it, and I got the 970 as you guys can see, and um, this isn't going to be a test video, so don't expect to see any performance tests or anything, this is simply just an unboxing video, and once I get the whole PC built, all the parts put together, everything inside it, um, I'll do the performance part. Also, one other thing, it is going to be water-cooled, as most PC desk builds are, so I'll also be showing the whole water-cooling system once I get that all installed. But, until then, let's get started. So here we go, I got to look inside, we're going to see how this beautiful baby looks. I mean, I've seen what it looks online, but not in person, so, I guess you guys want to see the back, there's the back everything on it. Okay. So fucking find a okay. Here we go. Let's do this. So I am in no way, shape or form sponsored by Gigabyte or any computer company. This is simply doing on my own behalf. So here's the box. I gotta say it looks pretty nice. It says Gigabyte on it. The camera will focus. Focus. There we go. There we go. You can kind of see it like flex off it. Pretty nice. Let's open this up. And I like the packaging on this. So there it is right there. Try to make sure it doesn't fall. It's inside a nice protective wrapping. Get this baby. I don't want to drop anything because that would suck. So, open this up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is sexy. Ooh, I can't wait to have this inside my computer. Oh, this is nice. Pretty big for a graphics card. I'd say that's a pretty big size based on graphics cards I have seen. And considering the graphics card on my current computer is integrated into the motherboard and I can't take it out or put a new one in, this is way better than what I currently have. So let us place this down. Okay. And there's not much else in the box. It's pretty empty. Plastic out of there. It's just no recovery. And cables and then driver disk instructions on how to install a graphics card if you don't know how to install a graphics card but um gotta say just from looking at this this is really fucking beautiful and I can't wait to have this inside and the best part about this PC build that I'm doing, is you're going to see all the PC parts inside. You can see the whole water cooling system as um, you'll see in the videos that, let me put this back in the box, but um, you'll see in the pictures that I'm going to throw up in the video. Um, they're really fucking awesome. They're expensive. They take a really long time to make unless you have like a week or two of absolutely nothing to do and you're able to just build a computer and a desk. But I don't have that kind of time because I've got school and other stuff going on. But I will be uploading update videos, each part that I do get for the PC. I'll be doing an unboxing video on as well. Um, first part, obviously, was the 970. Extremely fucking expensive, I'll tell you that right now. I paid $350 for this. So, that's the, like, the most expensive part of my computer, though. So, it's all good. 
I think the motherboard's going to be like 150 and whatnot. But the graphics card is definitely the most expensive part of this, and I thought I'd get it out of the way first. But, I mean, I'd say this is worth it. I would say that this baby is worth it. Anyways, I'll be uploading more update videos along. Um, I'm actually working on drawing the plans right now for the desk. Um, and I'll make a little update video along with that as well. And that's pretty much it. Um, don't expect another unboxing video for about a week or so because this kind of did empty my bank account because I work at Taco Bell so it's not the most high, highest paying job and I also had to get Christmas gifts for my girlfriend and other friends and whatnot so I'm kinda of broke right now so don't expect another unboxing video but next one is most likely going to be the motherboard and I may be picking up the RAM as well if not the power supply something along those lines but the motherboard is definitely going to be part of it Anyways, if you guys want to stay updated with um, the whole build vlog and unboxing videos, I'll be making a playlist as well, so be sure to subscribe, follow along, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyways, this is Don's Legacy, Brandon, whatever you guys want to call me. Have a good day. Peace out, everybody. One more thing, guys, before this video ended, I just remembered, um, for size comparison, um, I remember it. My one of my friends of mine, uh, Ryan. He's been in a couple of my videos. You guys may know him. You may not. Um, he had given me his old um, PC that he had spilled water inside. I know, depressing, but um, it was a gaming computer, and I took some of the parts out to see if they still worked. Sadly, none of them worked, but I still actually have some of the parts. For example, the graphics card, and I want to do a quick size comparison. So this is a 550 Ti. PNY, PNY, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Honestly, I don't know. If I say PNY. If this is a 550 Ti. It is completely broken. Doesn't really matter what I do to it. But um, there it is. One fan. Pretty fairly small. And here is the 970 for size comparison. In case anyone just realized. Oh, no, they go the same way. I was holding it upside down. But in case anyone's kind of I'm trying to like line these up the same, or I really fucking suck at this. But for people that'll, you know, got a tight fitting computer or anything, say you have a 550 and you're getting a 970, boom, there's a size comparison helpful, right? I know. It's the least I can do. Anyways, toss that piece of crap. Put this baby back in its box. But that was just a quick size comparison. Um,. Yeah, peace out. Also, some quick little specs. I forgot this part as well. I'm terribly sorry. Um, quick, some quick little specs. Excuse me. On it, um, in case you guys are wondering, it is compatible with Windows 7 and 8. Um, pretty much, if you go to any, you know, like Fry's Electronics is where I picked mine up. Um, you can just check out the box yourself. But in case you guys don't have that option. Um, it is only compatible with Windows 7 and Windows 8. I'm not sure if it's compatible with Windows 10 yet. Um, I'm just going by right now off of what the box says. I don't know. I haven't checked that part out. I know about the graphics card. I don't know what it's compatible with. But anyways, that's that. Um, I'm not like a complete noob. I just don't check what it's compatible with because I'm getting Windows 8. Um, actually, I may be getting Windows 7 with this PC that I'm building. I don't know, but Windows 10, while it is amazing and extremely fun, and you can talk to your fucking computer, I mean, who doesn't want to talk to the computer? It takes up a lot of memory, and um, it slows down your computer a lot, I've noticed, because one of my friends that has basically the exact same computer I have right now has Windows 7, and he can run Counter-Strike at, um, I think lower medium graphics and get like a hundred frames and I get 60 exact same settings nothing else running in the background big difference and we all have basically all the same parts so that's that yeah basically you can also do a multiple array of monitors as you guys can see on the back it has HDMI compatibility and all your other normal computer plugins, DVI-D, DVI-V, 
Is it? Oh, it's DVRI. Wow. I feel stupid. I don't know. Anyways, that's that. I can't wait to put this thing inside my new computer that I'm going to build. And until next time, peace out for like the third time. Yeah. Peace out, everybody.